Megan underground deal. She turned the legal battle upside down giving her sister a slap in face. Meghan Markle's half-sister has been criticized by a commentator for taking legal action against the Duchess of Sussex. Samantha Markle is suing her half-sister Meghan Markle for defamation following an interview she gave on Oprah Winfrey. Dr. Shola Moss Shogbami Moo, a pundit, chastised Samantha for filing a lawsuit. Samantha Markle will lose her home and everything she owns if she loses her lawsuit against Meghan Markle and is forced to pay Meghan's legal bills and damages, Dr. Moss Shogbami Moo tweeted. Good. Shame on the lawyers filing this baseless lawsuit. What a deeply evil jealous wicked half-sister. Dr. Moss Shogbami Moo's tweet prompted a mixed reaction from other Twitter users. One Twitter user with the handle at Stephen underscore pop commented, It's so weird to me that her family, dad's side, can't just let her live freely in happiness, they are obsessed with her. Another, at Biola 232975356, wrote, Megan is such a superstar. She lives rent-free in many people's head. But another user, at Ionukl, said, They're getting a taste of their own medicine. One more with the handle at Abamundi added, Samantha is telling her truth. In papers submitted to a court in Florida, Samantha accused Meghan of defamation based on demonstrably false and malicious statements during her and Prince Harry's TV interview in March 2021. The Duchess's half-sister also accused her of concocting a false narrative and fairy tale life story. Samantha also accused Meghan of a campaign to defame and destroy her sister's and her father's reputation and credibility in order to preserve and promote the false rags to royalty narrative. We will give it the minimum attention necessary, which is all it deserves. Samantha has previously been critical of Meghan, branding her Ducha. She also released a tell-all book titled The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. Previously, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have criticized the UK and world governments over COVID vaccines. A letter from the People's Vaccine was released on Friday afternoon, calling for an end to vaccine monopolies from Western countries. More than 130 previous world leaders, Nobel laureates, scientists, and others signed the open letter, which called for immediate action to vaccinate low- and middle-income nations and terminate the COVID-19 pandemic. The letter criticizes the EU, UK, Germany and Switzerland for continuing to block the lifting of intellectual property rules which would enable the redistribution and scale-up of COVID-19 vaccine, test and treatment manufacturing in the Global South. It then makes five demands to world leaders. The open letter goes on to warn the pandemic is not over, and blamed self-defeating nationalism, pharmaceutical monopolies and inequality for not vaccinating the world against COVID. It then added, the transfer of largely publicly funded vaccine technology and know-how from pharmaceutical corporations would fast-track production to a matter of months. Yet still today, a handful of these corporations retain the power to dictate vaccine supply, distribution and price, and the power to decide who lives and who dies. The UK has vowed to donate 100 million coronavirus vaccine doses within the next year to low-income countries as part of at least 1 billion doses due from the G7. Earlier on Friday, the Duke and Duchess Archul Foundation officially partnered with the People's Vaccine, with investment into the coalition. We are happy to welcome Archul Foundation to the alliance and appreciate their support, alongside Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex the People's Vaccine said in a statement. We will work together to end vaccine inequity and ensure COVID-19 vaccines, treatments plus tests are available to everyone. They added Archul's support will go toward the Alliance's ongoing campaigns and efforts to secure fair vaccine access for low- and middle-income countries. Earlier on Friday, the Duke and Duchess Archul Foundation officially partnered with the People's Vaccine, with investment into the coalition.